Hey Yogi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I'm Kelsey Yogi here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Today we are going to do our compass pose. So compass pose is a really fun posture, but you have to have open shoulders and you have to have open hamstrings. So please make sure that you take your time in some seated forward folds, not only to lengthen out through the backs of the hamstrings, but through the calves as well, because that entire backside of the leg is going to be lifted and long, doing some wide-legged folds as well. Butterfly pose would be nice because it helps to open up through the hips. Please, 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 all those hamstring stretches because without nice, open, long hamstrings, it ain't gonna happen. It just ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so the other thing that you need to focus on opening and stretching is the shoulders, the rotator cuff muscles, the pecs. So I think puppy pose is a great way to soften and open up the shoulders. You can also do this on the wall rather than doing it on the floor. That would kind of look like, I know you're watching from behind, but just arms up, drop the chest down between the arms. Opening up the shoulders will make a huge difference. And without open shoulders, you're not gonna have much of a bind. The leg will fling away from you. You'll see in just a sec. So let me show you what it looks like to do a compass pose. And then we'll talk about how to come in a posture yourself. So this is my compass pose. I think it's one of the ones that I kind of do pretty well at, so I wanted to try to show you guys what I do to make that happen. The first thing that you have to do, besides stretching, you gotta stretch, you gotta stretch, you gotta stretch. If you're not stretched, you're not going to be able to relax. And if you can't relax into the posture, you're gonna look like somebody's torturing you, and <laughs> that's really not the point of yoga. So do the stretching. But then also, there's a couple of tips and tricks that I think will make a huge difference. And the first thing being, how high can you get that leg over the shoulder? So that butterfly pose that I mentioned earlier, it's important because we have to have the hips open. And if the hips are open, you're gonna get higher up the arm. So let me show you. I'm gonna show you on my left leg. It's my more flexible side. It's funny, it's my flexible hamstring, but not my flexible hip. Anyway, so hang that leg over the arm. And not just down here by the elbow or low on the tricep, but as high up the shoulder as you can get it. So I use my right arm and my left arm. My right arm pulls, my left arm pushes, and as I do, I kind of crunch under and really get that shoulder all the way under the knee, okay? And without it, without that shoulder deep under and just the tricep, not the same kind of compass pose. It's lovely, but it's not the same. So get the leg as high up the shoulder as you can get it. Get the shoulder all the way underneath the leg, and then hold on to it, keep it there. As you do this more and more, that leg will get stronger and you'll be able to hold it there with less effort. But in the beginning, keep that leg there and it's gonna slide, put it back. All right, so now that you have the leg very high over the shoulder, I take my opposite hand, so I'm using my left leg, right hand, it goes over the foot, wraps around it, grabs the heel. You can grab the side of the foot or the ankle, I think the heel is almost like a nice handle. And you see it keep ooh, wedging that knee all the way under the shoulder, all the way under the knee. So you see what's gonna to have to happen now is the shoulder's gonna to have to open, the hamstring's gonna to have to lengthen, and then there's also a little bit of a balance aspect because I'm shifting over to the right hip in order to let that left leg lift up. So leg high, arm wraps around, grabs the heel, shift to the right, keep the chest lifted, because we're gonna do this, it's just not gonna be that cute. So instead, lift up through the chest. You know, you're pushing down through the sit bones, you're lifting up through the chest, Fingertips down, so left leg is lifting, left fingertips down just for balance. You don't want the hand flat because see I lean. So fingertips, and now begin to straighten that leg with the strength of the leg. So I'm not really using the arm to do all this pulling. Instead, I'm thinking left leg lifts itself. Right arm is just there for the bind. It's quite the shoulder stretch. Now once you're here and you have that little shift to the right, the opposite direction, fingertips are down. Now you sit up even taller and turn away. Now I am holding on pretty good with that right hand. The left leg wants to fling away. You'll help things by engaging the leg, lifting up through the kneecap, flexing, flexing that quadricep, really turning it on. Reach through the toes, so think long leg, not just lifted. And come out carefully so you see I keep a hold of that leg the whole time you don't want to be up in your um, compass and fling the leg away I think you could hurt your shoulder it's not gonna feel great to fling the leg and release it so everything has to come in carefully slowly mindfully and you exit the posture in the same way make sure 
that you do equal time on both legs. So I like doing my left leg. I don't like doing my right leg. <laughs> and you know, one of the gifts of yoga is just that we, we begin to notice that. You don't have to like the other leg. You don't have to think it's as comfortable, but we do have to give it as much time, if not maybe even a little bit more, because that's my stiff side, that's my more tight side. So I don't wanna do it as much, but I make that choice because we're always looking to find that equanimity, that balance from side to side. Legs nice and high. Oof, you can see this one's not what the other side is, and that's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just have to keep trying to find our inner balance. Point the toe. Look up. Look up and look away. Maybe a smile. Tell yourself, this is lovely. I'm not uncomfortable. <laughs> I like to kind of bend the knee again, let it rehang, and then soften it down. The other thing that you can do, if for you, you have very open hamstrings, so you feel like I could lift it, but my shoulders, a lot of people have very tight shoulders, so to get the arm up that high and stretch through the front of the shoulder that much, it's really uncomfortable. So you can also use a strap, and that may help to make a little bit of a difference. You'll take your strap and put it over the arch of your foot, still gotta hang the leg over the shoulder, that's not gonna change, but what's going to change is how much the shoulder has to open. So with the strap, I can keep, see how much I can keep that elbow bent. I don't have to reach as far to grab the opposite side of the foot. And then as you get stronger through the shoulder, more open through the shoulder, you grab closer, closer, until you don't feel like you need the strap anymore. Because I think honestly, we do even better when we use our own bodies, but sometimes we need a prop until we can get there and there's nothing wrong with that. Anyway, so that's compass pose. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Work with it, give it some practice, give it some time. Don't expect the first 12 times that you come into that posture for it to be easy or look lovely. You may be like, oh my God, you know, I fell over to the right or my foot flinged away from my hand or I thought I looked super long, but then I looked at the picture and I was like, not what I was hoping it would be. So who cares? Breathe into that space, relax as much as you can because when we hold our breath and we tense through the posture, you're not going to be able to relax into it and explore that inner landscape, notice what's happening on the inside. Instead, you're just like literally trying not to die. So soften where you can, let go of where you can, breathe, don't hold the breath, and come into it again and again and again. So maybe you work on that through 2023 and you make that your goal that by the end of the year, your compass pose is much more strong and calm and lengthened. And you'll be surprised how many other postures will come along with that. So your splits and your Shiva pose and you know standing splits so many other hamstring openers will come along because this is a great one to really work on lengthening the back of the leg okay i've talked too much that's it for today guys i hope it helps show me on your tiktok show me on your instagram i'd love to see what you're doing with your compass pose please tag me on kelsey i'll be there too make sure that you comment let me know what you thought about this video or what you want to learn more of next time and please you guys share this on your social media so share it on your facebook page share it on your instagram stories ask people to follow I'm so close to 4,000 right now. I would love to hit 5,000 by the end of the year. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So help me out. Share. I, I really appreciate you guys. You're amazing. Take care and namaste.